Greetings and welcome to a new video. I hope you are all doing well. In this video, I will show you how to jailbreak iOS 16 or iOS 15 on macOS with Pelerin C. We will both do the rootless method and the rootful method so that you can choose between whichever you want to do. Pelerin jailbreak is completely free for everybody. So in this video, we will jailbreak iOS 16.6 but as i have told you it will also work on any supported ios version and any supported ios device also for this tutorial we have this freshly restored ios 16 device that is iphone 8 plus as you can see it right here it is not jailbroken so first things first you will open safari and head to the official website for the pale range jailbreak as you can see it right here all right once you are in go to downloads and you will see the latest beta right here scroll down and you should go to assets and you will see the files that we can use to jailbreak now for mac os you can simply consider using Pale Rain Mac OS Universal, which will both work on the Apple Silicon Macs and the Intel Macs. And if you are having problem, you can use the ARM64 one for the Apple Silicon Macs and the x86-64 for Intel Macs. But for me, the Mac OS Universal worked just fine. So I will use this one and we will get it to our computer and wait for this to download all right as you can see our file has been downloaded so you will simply go to finder downloads and you can find the file here but before you run it simply minimize it then go to settings or system preferences then simply go to security and privacy then from here go to privacy again and then from here scroll down and you will see full disk access right here tap on it tap the lock icon then simply type in your login password then unlock all right then press this plus button then from this menu just simply go to utilities and then select terminal from here all right then hit open now terminal is added to get full disk access now you can simply lock it all right now it is added now you can close out of security and privacy now go to finder again now open a new terminal you can open it from the launchpad also now simply go to CD now CD downloads because you will have to simply point it to the directory where you have the Pelerin macOS binary. Now type sudo space chmod plus x and then simply drag and drop the file in. Press enter then type in your login password and press enter. Now you are done. Now to run it sudo space simply drag the file in and if you are going to jailbreak with root less method you don't have to add any flag here now simply press enter and it will get your device to the recovery mode immediately make sure that you have removed the passcode now simply follow the instructions press enter to get your device into dfu by simply following the instructions and wait for this to complete the process will run and you will get your device jailbroken with the root less method so it is booting pongo os and it is done if you see this error please ignore it because the process completed successfully now guys on your device as you can see i have the parent loader the wi-fi is connected make sure it is connected and then simply install package manager 
it will download the file system or the base system and then it will install the package manager all right now set a passcode password and you will see install completed and you can see we have Cilio and it is working just well without any problem so our device is jailbroken with the rootless method as you can see it right here rootless iOS 16 and everything works just fine now as I said in this video we will also try the root full method so I will simply open the loader and revert install so that we can see how we can use the root full method so my device is now rebooting and it will remove the root last jailbreak first all right as you can see we have removed the root last jailbreak from this device now we will proceed with the root full so as you can see i have cleared the window here in the terminal to reduce confusion so now type sudo space and simply drag the binary in once again then here type hyphen f hyphen c which will create the fake fs first and then we will boot it later also if you want to use the bind fs option which will save about 5 gb of space on ios 16 devices and it will only take about 2 to 3 gb on ios 15 devices you can replace the hyphen c with the capital b here with hyphen b and it will create the bind fs if you want to save space on ios 15 or ios 16 on smaller devices but in this video i will create the standard fake fs so i will use the lowercase c and lowercase f all right then press enter and the process will start it will get your device into recovery mode first and from here by following the instructions get it to dfu press enter and the process will start so it is booting pango os all right as you can see it here it will take about 10 minutes to set up the fake fs first so you will have to wait here until it is done and your device boots up to the home screen all right guys as you can see my device booted up but i'm not seeing the pillarine loader just yet but as you can see my total space has reduced by 10 gb because we have set up the fake fs all right so this process is done now the next step is to simply press the up arrow to bring up the command and from here only delete hyphen c or hyphen capital b in case of bind fs and leave only hyphen f press enter and it will start the process just follow the instructions and if you see itunes please close out of it all right so the process will now start the process is done and the device should now boot up to the home screen and guys this time when you go in you will see the pairing loader on your home screen and to make sure that it is the rootful method you can see my space has been reduced by 10 gb right here now open the loader and make sure you're connected to wi-fi and then simply install a package manager like you always do now please wait for the installation process to complete for your package manager all right as you can see install completed and we have the package manager seal you right here and you can see this jailbreak is now rootful and you can see everything is properly populated and working no problems whatsoever also guys if you want to remove the rootful jailbreak the guide is in the description if you want to check it out so guys that's all for this video if you still have questions please ask in the comments section and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself